good evening and a warm welcome to you with Wahini News and I'm in Rajai Suri and wishing you all a very happy and prosperous new year for the year 2010. We begin the cast for today. And I'm Vinny Samadhi Sekhara. We take a look at tonight's headlines. The President says that the responsibility of directing the country towards development in accordance with the common vision is being vested with the younger generation. Now, the President has also been accorded an honorary title by the Amarapura Mahankar. The Postal Department declares 2010 as the year of information technology. And overseas countries around the world are holding celebratory events to welcome 2010. We take a look at those stories in detail now. At the dawn of New Year, it is customary to look back on the year just ended and reflect on our expectations for the next, President Mahindra Rajapaksha said in a New Year message. The President said that they greet the New Year with commensurate pride and satisfaction at our achievements in the past year when, together as a nation, we overcame the deadly challenge of terrorism, bringing to an end 27 years of mindless brutality, debilitating self-doubt and unforeseen division among the people. President Rajapaksha noted that with tremendous sacrifice, Sri Lanka prevailed as one, as we have done repeatedly in history. This transition into a new year is an opportunity to again express our thanks on behalf of the nation to all service personnel who willingly made the supreme sacrifice and to the mothers, fathers, spouses and children of those heroes of our time. He added that we look to the new year with abundant hope in our ability to fulfill the aspirations of our people for progress and prosperity as a nation and a land of peace and unity for our children. We look forward with a commitment to heal the wounds of the past and also resist the pressures from abroad that stand in our way in this great task as we stood firm against the uninvited interference in our efforts to defeat terrorism, he added. With the cost and pain of conflict behind us, the government will now be even more focused on diverting its energies to development, continuing the many massive projects launched in the midst of the fight against terror and launching new ventures to bring to our country the progress it has been denied from the time of independence, the President pledged. The strategy of development in the new decade, beginning today, will seek to make Sri Lanka the South Asian hub of ocean and air traffic and communications in a knowledge-based society. The President said that we should build on the foundations already laid in the construction of harbours, airports, extensive road networks and the marked increase in IT literacy in Sri Lanka. We have in sight a period of reconciliation and tolerance, having shown the world our success in resettling nearly 300,000 internally displaced citizens within the given target, with most of them already back in their homes or in familiar terrain. Similarly, we will not be held back by threatened economic sanctions or withdrawn trade concessions by those who seek strategic interference in the national affairs of Sri Lanka. At a time when our people are moving towards a decisive stage in the political development of the country, President Rajapaksha pointed out that the government remains committed to a strengthened and sustained friendship with the countries that supported us in full measure to defeat terrorism and bring peace to our people. Similarly, we shall foster and encourage good relations with those who recognize and respect our sovereignty and encourage us in ways to move on the path to peace and prosperity, he said. The national responsibility before us in the future is to establish prosperity in the country while enjoying our hard-won freedom, said Prime Minister Ratna Siddhivikramanayaka in his New Year message for 2010. He noted that the country is entering 2010 by creating history in 2009 as the year which ensured the victory of the motherland by eradicating separatist terrorism which destroyed the country for three decades. In an atmosphere where we can now live a dignified life as a nation after overcoming every challenge, creating a pros prosperous country would not be a difficult task. The time has come for all to cast aside narrow objectives and unite for a common objective to realize them for the sake of the country's future. Sri Lankans have been adept at overcoming challenges from the ancient past, he said, and added that our forefathers had successfully eradicated the dangers posed by alien enemies and created a prosperous nation for future generations. 
in this new year, it is the duty of Sri Lankans to actively contribute towards the development effort aimed at creating a disciplined generation within a prosperous country. And still on local news, President Mahind Rajapaksha says that the responsibility of directing the country towards development in accordance with a common vision and a target instead of personal aims is being vested in the younger generation. He added that it is essential to build a common vision, sacrificing personal dreams, and that was a need of the era. The President was speaking at a meeting of students of vocational training centers functioning under Ministry of Vocational Training at Temple Trees in Colombo today. <laughs> Addressing the gathering, the president noted that the hatred politics is not needed for the country. We are not taking politics to that low level and hatred will bring dangerous results. He added that some persons had tried to fill prisons by, but the present government has no such intention. The youth has a great responsibility for the country and they have to shoulder the future of the island and the youth will, be get, be, youth will get benefits rather of the development process. The President said that his target is to raise Sri Lanka to the highest position, not only in Asia, but in the whole wide world. Ubai mera the sangwar the ne kiri matuling kriti na balaban. Bena karu ab nimi. Insa ani gaman ya. Ministers Johnston Fernando, PSN Gamage, Pavitra Vanyara, Chi and MP Vimal Viravansa also spoke at the gathering. The President also held a cordial discussion with students of vocational training centers. Anne ya ke 